first of all, what is a beer mile and why are you the world record holder in it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so beer mile is exactly what it sounds. It's pairing uh, beer and running. So you drink four beers, uh, run four laps. So you start with a the beer. There's a nine meter chug zone uh, back off the, the start line. You stay in that chug zone uh, until you consume your beer. And then you run 400 meters of a track and you do that four times. Okay, so it ends up being a mile running. Of the and shit. then, yeah, four times 355 milliliters of beer. It's, it, it's not comfortable. Like people think I enjoy it and have fun during it, but <laughs> no, right? It's just as awful as it sounds. Uh, so, yeah, we did one, I think, by s- the summer or no, when was it? It was my third year of university, I think. Sorry. It was my second year of university after cross country season. We just did it for fun uh, at four strip track, like at, at night, nine o'clock at night, just for fun with the team. So uh, it was like our binge week. We just uh, we do some drinking that week, like don't really take training too, too seriously. Sure. And then uh, we did that one. And then two years later, we revisited. Like my friend brought a six pack over. He's like, dude, I want you to try it. I've seen you chug. I've seen you run. If you pair these two things together, you could be like the best. Right. But you, like, hey, I, how, when did you hear about the beer mile? How long have you known about that? It's always been like a thing, like since like 19, late 1980s, early really? 1990s. It has that or many 1990s. years of history? I didn't know it was that, like, wow. Yeah, it was like back in the 1990s, early 1990s, I think. Uh, there was a group from Queen's University that just started this thing called the beer mile, and they would have other teams from American universities, Canadian universities, just uh tried out and like they would compare times through forums or text each other call That's each other so whatever. Wild. uh and then it became like more of a mainstream thing come like 2015 or so 2014 and uh, so lewis kent like he was the previous world record holder he was on ellen degeneres like the, like, damn did they not get you out started. ellen come on they should have did you did you ask it's ellen crazy. Like, uh we had, we had the same same agent so um uh, like he was on tmz i was on tmz like it's it's it was pretty crazy right. That's awesome. uh, what came from it. But yeah, it was just random. Like our friend took me to the track and just wanted to try it. And then it blew up from there. You got a world record time uh, on a potato recording of the of video. I must say it wasn't the highest oh, yeah. quality video. It, it's my buddy's iPad. He's just holding <laughs> up like this. It was starting to become like pretty dark outside. So it's like, I don't know. Right. Eight, like, eight I guess that, that looks like Corey. Like I mean, it could be some dude in the park just running by himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. no, it's good. And then the next day you got asked to fly out and compete in the actual annual what world championship in the beer mile. Is that what it is? Yeah. So every year they have a, a world classic. It's called the beer mile world classic. So it was in London, England that year. I didn't even know it was taking place like that weekend at all. Right. So we ran this one just, just yeah, not expecting anything. And wow. then I just get contacted by them to like fly out that night. Like the next morning I woke up sent me a message i flew it that night like that's it was just so, crazy that's so crazy yeah so i had two friends driving to toronto and then i was in england for yeah 50 hours and then you beat your own record in england yeah yeah so it was pretty wild <laughs> <laughs> was there was there were you competing for like a prize pool what was the was there anything at stake here what how big is this uh, thing i guess for people that might not know you know how much it's evolved yeah, the World Classic was just getting going. Like, it was its second year. So, um, there was no prize money at this point um, for it. It was more or less just get a free trip out of it. Go yeah, to England, good exposure, obviously. Race here. Yeah, and then exposure came from it. I, I didn't know it was going to come from it, but it, like, blew up from that. Uh, so, that's when, like, we started contacting brands. I got in contact with an agent, and then he helped me, like, get a bunch of deals. That's so cool. So, wait, did you got a brand deal with Adidas after? How I, I want to know how these things even come about. What do they, what do they ask for? Like you're an ambassador for them or how does that work? 